Hi everybody, Beanmeister22 here. We're going to do a quick unboxing and this is really cool. This is the Toe Tough TMD3500 EDT and it's a trailer dolly. Not only is it a trailer dolly, it is an electric powered trailer dolly. That's right, it's got two batteries in it. It's a 24 volt system, rechargeable obviously. And it's great for moving trailers around without having to hook the tractor up to them or hook your truck or your car up to them. You can just use this to move them around the shop, move them around your driveway. Yeah, it is great. It's got a 3,500 pound towing capacity or pushing capacity, 600 pound tongue capacity for the tongue weight. And let me tell you something, I have found the trailer I'm pushing this with, it's very small, but it doesn't have nearly enough tongue weight. Mumble's gonna have to put a weight on it. Variable speed, it goes forward and backwards. That's right, it has a max speed of 1.5 miles an hour. And you think, well, you know, that's not very fast. But when I was pushing my boat with this, it felt pretty darn fast. Now I got this because the driveway is a little small and there's a slope up into the garage where I'm storing my boat. And normally if it was flat, yeah, I would just get a regular dolly and push it by hand. But due to the slope, yeah, I wasn't going to be able to push this up that little slope. So I had to get this. Now this says flat ground use only. So yeah, I'm using it, you know, outside of the manufacturer's instructions. But it is working fine for me. Like I said, my tongue weight is a little light. So I might have to start putting a weight on it when I'm doing it. Because as we were going up the hill, the tires had a tendency to, when it started pushing, they would come off the ground. Now there is a foot thing where you can put your foot on it to give some weight down there for extra traction. I should have used that, right? Now we haven't pushed or towed anything heavy with this yet, and we are gonna, but this is just the unboxing video. This thing comes mostly assembled. You have to put the tires on it, the wheels, and it, their two main wheels are 13 inch wheels, and that third wheel is an eight inch wheel. You have to assemble the handle, and then you have to hook up the wires from the handle down to the battery and connect the batteries. It came with a wiring diagram for all the wiring in there, and it has those cheap little horrible little Chinese plastic connectors. You know, those wires that are so small you think they're going to break or pop off? And really, everything from China is like that these days. They were surprisingly durable, and you only have to do it one time, popped it together, bam, there you are. So the wiring diagram covers everything, but there's only a few connections you have to make. Well, that was good. Now, as I said, this is for my boat. My boat's small and doesn't weigh a lot, but because of the slope, I needed an electric or a powered dolly. I paid $798.99 for this, so $800, and it's currently selling on Amazon for $850. The reviews are mixed for this, so if you go down to the review section, there's some good reviews and some bad reviews. And essentially the company that, finger quotes, manufactures this is just an importer-exporter. They order it from China, and it's branded with their name on it. And that, at least reading through the reviews, is kind of what customers are saying, and it makes sense. This is the cheapest of the electric dollies that I have been able to find. There's plenty more that are identical to this, or at least they look identical, for two or three hundred dollars more. And Amazon is where I got the best price on this because I did find this exact same model for a thousand dollars online, you know, somewhere other than Amazon. And plus I got the thing in like three days. It was great. So far, I'm happy enough with it, but I only used it one time. <laughs> All right, so we'll see how long the charge lasts, how long you have to go before you need to charge again for bleed off, and we'll go out of our way to push some heavier things to see how well it, it does. So far, like I said, I'm very happy with it, and I was happy with the price. So if you're in the market for something like this, this might be one to check out. Go to Amazon, check it out. All right, so leave your comments in the comment section, as always. Thanks for watching. Mr. 22, the most dangerous man on YouTube.